Squarespace lets your content speak for itself. Our blogging platform features seamless media management and real-time comments, allowing you to create a blog with fresh and exciting content that's sure to fascinate your viewers. In this video, you'll learn how to add a blog page, create and organize your blog posts, push your posts to social media, and more. To start, click Pages within the Home menu. Then click the plus icon to add a new page. Select Blog from the New Page menu and enter a name for your blog page. You'll now be directed to your blog panel where you can add blog posts. In the blog panel, click plus to add a new post. Within the blog post editor, enter a post title within the Enter a Post Title field. You'll notice that every new post automatically has an empty text block added to its body. You can start typing your text content here or use the Paste as Plain Text button to paste a body of text. The blog post editor allows you to create content using content blocks. This includes the same layout engine options you use when adding content to a page. Simply click on any insert point and choose your block. To organize your blog by subject, you can add categories and tags to your blog post. To do so, select Tags or Categories, then type your tag or category and press Return or Enter on your keyboard in order to add it. We'll cover different ways in which to showcase blog posts sharing the same category or tag further in this video. Next, you'll notice you can enable or disable comments for a blog post by clicking Comments on or off. If comments are enabled, your visitors can comment as long as the post is published. To close the blog post for commenting after a certain time, click Never to set a date and time when comments will be disabled. Squarespace uses thumbnail images to represent content in various indexed views. If you share your post on social profiles that support images, like Facebook, the thumbnail image will appear in the post. Under the Options tab, you can click and drag an image from your computer into the thumbnail box, or click the box to select a file to upload from your computer. If you tend to write longer posts, or if your posts are heavy with images or videos, a blog excerpt makes it easier for viewers to scroll through your blog and click Post to read in full by clicking Read More. To create this, simply add text within the Post Excerpt field. You can also edit your blog post URL choose an author for the post, and set a source URL. Within the Location tab, add an address to represent the location of your post. Press the Return or Enter key after completing the address fields to drop the pin and save the new location on the map. Just keep in mind that not all templates use or display location information for blog posts. Select the Social tab to view your push-enabled social accounts. As a note, You'll first need to connect your social accounts within your Connected Accounts area to see these social accounts appear as options here. Toggle the switch from Off to On for each service to which you would like to share your entry. Once you publish your post, Squarespace can send the title, URL, and author of a new post to the selected services based on how you configure your push options. All posts start off as drafts by default. Once finished with your post, you can click Save to save the entry and keep it as a draft. You can then click the Settings button next to your draft to pull up more options. Here you can publish the post, schedule it for the future, mark it for review, or keep it as a draft. Click the Save and Publish button to save the entry and it will automatically change it to Published. This way, it will display on your blog page for your visitors to read. In the Blog panel, you can manage your blog posts. Draft, Published, Scheduled, and Needs Review posts are ordered by their last save date from newest to oldest. Schedule posts appear at the top. Search for a blog post for editing or publication using the search bar at the top of the panel. Filter the search to show all results, drafts only, review only, or schedule posts only. To edit an existing post, click the Edit button next to your post. To move one blog post to another blog page, press and hold the Shift key and click the items you want to move. You can then click Move Items and select the Destination Blog Page.
Once you've added tags and categories to your blog, you can use various blocks to create a layout that allows visitors to view similar posts based on their interests. For example, by using the summary block and using the tag or category filter, you can display content with those tags and categories. You can also add a navigation link to a tag or category. Using these steps, you'll be able to build your own blog and feature it throughout your site. Let us know if you have any further questions. We're always here to help.